Smarties, and today I am back on Adapted Mind. So first, I've decided to show you all the Super Skills videos that we have right here. Um. Okay, let's see. Watch episode. No, wait. I don't know. I'm not too good at this super skill stuff. Uh, okay, so we can only watch episode 5, I think, which is too bad, but let's just watch that. Play now. I like our substitute, but I hope Miss Einstein feels better soon. Just gonna Me too. Uh, no. sick forever. Oops. The Grinna Monster's gone missing. Officials say she was last seen working on her time machine. Oh no, she's stuck in 1970. We've got to help her. What if we build a time machine and use it to rescue her? You think we could do that? That if we sounds our like a good lot, idea. Maybe they'll go smart enough that we could pull it off. Lemon battery and time machine prototype ready for testing. Oh, wait. What if you get stuck in the past, too? Good point. This will let her know that help is on the way. Oh, this is harder <laughs> than I thought. Lemon juice. And our neurons are growing and we're getting smarter. <laughs> A giant lemon. How are we no, ever going to save Incredible Monster? We keep messing up. Remember when she said mistakes are our friends? Can't we use them to help grow our brains? Yeah. Uh, how do we do that again? By uh, <gasps> trying smarter. Step one is to study our weak spots and set goals for improvement. Goals step one. Blow it up. Not blow it. <laughs> blow up. It turned into Step a lemon. Two is to check our progress with someone who knows lots about what we're trying to do. Step three is to focus on what you're doing with your full brain and heart. Lemons. And do it oh. over and over. Step four, not being mean to yourself for messing up. That's tough. What are we going to do without a computer? Oh, I feel like such a failure. Oh, this is a bad mistake. But our mistakes don't mean we failed. They just mean we can't time travel yet. Let's try again tomorrow. Yeah. Did you see? She escaped the past. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm happy she's back, but I'm sad we didn't save her. If we had, then maybe we'd get to be superheroes like her. But we are like her. Incredible Monsters always tackling challenges to help others. Yeah. That's what we did. Although and she's their teacher. So what's the point? The more challenges we tackle, the more mistakes we'll make. But the more we'll grow. If we keep growing, one day, we'll be able to help others when they need it most. Let's tackle another challenge. What if we build a stove that runs on stone? Stove! Great idea. I'm really These food have food dangerous food. anyway. We had something called disco fever. From Ms. Einstein! How are you feeling? Wait, what's with your costume? Oh, <laughs> just getting ready for Halloween. Great to see you guys. You too. Um, do you mind if we borrow your chemistry book? You know, I heard that Incredible Monster escaped the past because someone sent her a computer from the future, which she used to build another time machine. <laughs> Thanks, Miss 
Einstein? No problem, guys. Do you think that was the computer we lost? Maybe believing you can grow really does make a difference. Yes, it is. What about you? What challenge will you tackle, Max? I don't know. We're going to do some science now. Um, okay. Science. Right, and I will be back because if you remember from last time, we had all the videos. So I'm gonna go to about one of each of them, and I will be back. Watch the video to unlock the quiz. <coughs> Hi everyone, I'm a giant anteater. And I eat ants. <laughs> They try running away every time. <laughs> but they don't stand a chance with this tongue. My tongue can be as long as a man's arm. And it's covered in sticky saliva. <laughs> no, they don't stand a chance. I can swallow up to 30,000 ounces every day by flicking my tongue in and out very fast. There's an ounce nest in here. <laughs> ants are delicious. Things. But while I have a really long tongue, I don't have any teeth. And that means I can't chew my food. No, I can't chew. So what do you think I do? I swallow pebbles. Pebbles help me to crush the ants inside my tummy. We only feed on the nest for a short while because we don't like to destroy it. No, we don't like to destroy it. Ants are great. As well as giving me food, I get lots of water from the ants I eat. That means I don't really need to drink. So for me, water's not for drinking. It's for fun. We ant eaters love swimming. And after swimming, we like to go to sleep. We sleep out in the open and we use our tails as comfort. We sleep up to 15 hours a day because eating nothing but ants all the time means we don't have a huge amount of energy. <laughs> no, we don't. Answer the question to get the star. Watch the video to unlock the quiz. Steve Irwin said, if we save our wild places, we will ultimately save ourselves. Watch the video to unlock the quiz. Green, 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 keep turning green, 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 historic green, 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 all going on the dino road trip. Stalking the biggest cheese eater ever. We're off to ancient Morocco in northwest Africa as we go back 100 million years to eat Spinosaurus. I hope it's not too spiny to hug. Let's find out. Whoa! Welcome to the Sahara Desert. 100 million years ago, it was a lush coastal plain. There were rivers full of fish, crocodiles, and ferocious meat-eating dinosaurs prowling the swamps. The biggest meat-eater of all was Spinosaurus. So, I guess we won't be hugging it out. 
Spinosaurus grew almost 50 feet long, longer than a T-Rex. And the sail on its back makes it look even bigger. Long, bony spines hold up that sail, which is how Spinosaurus got its name. Hashtag bone spines, hashtag back sail, hashtag more meat, please. Hashtag enough already. The sail probably helped Spinosaurus to attract mates or regulate its body temperature in and out of the water. Cute. Terrorizing the entire Sahara, one dino at a time. Spinosaurus had a skinny jaw and conical teeth like a crocodile. Scientists believe that it might have spent a lot of time in the water hunting its favorite food. Fish tacos? Fish. You were this close. And now we're Fish. close. Quick, let's do it. Selfie. Before we head home, let's break down the facts about the mighty Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Bigger than a T-Rex. Ate fish. Huh. Lived in and out of water. Oh. Any last words for Spino? Hashtag gotta go. Swap out the incandescent light bulbs for energy efficient ones. This will reduce the amount of fossil fuels you depend on. Watch the video to unlock the quiz. Prepare to crane your neck because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true facts about giraffes. Number five. Giraffes and their, uh, distinctive look. It's impossible to talk about giraffes without addressing the elephant in the room. No, not that elephant standing behind the giraffe. I'm talking about their crazy long necks. But despite how long they are, they actually only have seven vertebrae in their necks. The same number as humans. So what's the big difference? Each giraffe vertebra is super duper sized and can be up to 10 inches long. They also have two hair-covered horns on the tops of their heads called ossicles that can be used to tell the gender of a giraffe. Females have thin ones with tufts of hair on top, while the male's ossicones end in knobs and tend to be bald on top. That's because the males use them to fight. Oh yeah! And their tongues are pretty strange too. They can be up to 20 inches long and are darkly colored, which experts think is designed to help protect them from the sun. Because no one wants a tongue burn. And even their scientific name, Giraffa camelopardalis, comes from the ancient Greek belief that they look like a camel wearing a leopard's coat. Oh, you look beautiful, darling. Number four. We all know giraffes are big, but I bet you didn't know that they eat about 75 pounds of food per day. By comparison, your average human adult eats between the five pounds of food in a day. And that includes heavier foods like meat and cheese. Giraffes pretty much only eat leaves, which means they basically need to eat all day long to get enough food. Which is much easier to do when the menu doesn't include mystery meat, like in the cafeteria. Number three. The most noticeable part of a giraffe's look, besides its neck, is their majestic spotted coat. Every single giraffe has a unique, intricate fur pattern, kind of like a human's fingerprint. But the pattern isn't the most interesting part of their fur. If by interesting, you mean totally disgusting. See, having such a long neck can make it kind of hard for giraffes to groom themselves. So instead, they ooze chemicals from their skin to keep insects away and disinfect themselves so that bacteria can't grow. So while it might keep the giraffes healthy, it also makes their skin smell really bad to humans. In fact, some elderly giraffes are so completely coated in a pungent protective ooze that locals call them stink bulls. Oh, come on, guys. Don't call them names just because they smell bad. You bunch of bullies. Number two. It's much harder for giraffes to drink water than you might think. To have a drink, they need to spread out their front legs and crane their neck at a weird angle, which leaves them vulnerable to predators. So a giraffe's body has evolved some pretty clever ways to deal with it. Their system can get almost all the water they need from the plants they eat, so adult giraffes only need water once a day. They also never sweat or pant to cool down. Instead, their body temperature goes up or down depending on the weather, which lets them conserve water and keep cool in any situation. If only my dad could keep cool in any situation. And finally, our number one fact about giraffes, the first giraffe in Europe. As you may know, giraffes only live naturally in Central and Southern Africa. 
so it took humans to transport these majestic animals to Europe. The very first one was brought there by Julius Caesar in 46 BC as part of his triumphant return to Rome. The Romans didn't know what to make of this new, crazy-looking animal, so they called it the Camel Leopard because, well, it looks like a camel and a leopard. And you might think that a giant, aggressive animal would make a terrible pet, but the ancient Egyptians didn't agree. 1,500 years after Julius Caesar, Lorenzo de' Medici was given a giraffe by the Sultan of Egypt. Giraffes hadn't been seen in Italy since Roman times, so as you might imagine, it caused quite a stir. Stories say that the giraffe would wander the streets of Florence, eating treats offered out of second-story windows. But be careful! If you feed it, it's just gonna follow you home. Hey, Bob, can I keep it? Well, there they are, five fantastic facts about the tallest animals on planet Earth. I'm talking about giraffes. What's your absolute favorite ma- Watch the video to unlock the quiz. He knows King Julian is the baddest lemur in the whole jungle. So shake your tail for five crazy cool epic awesome money we're about to expect it true. Ooh, facts about lemurs. Number five. Lemur's tails are big and curly, but surprisingly aren't prehensile, which means able to move around and grab things. So unfortunately, they can't hang from trees the same way monkeys can. Oops. Sorry, little guy, but don't worry, you certainly have one of the most fashionable tails in the animal kingdom. Number four, one species of lemur, the fat-tailed dwarf, is the only primate in the entire world that hibernates. Every winter, it falls asleep for several months and lives off of its own fat like a bear does in the winter. Now that is a power nap, and he'll definitely need all that saved up energy unless he wants to be that bear to practice when he wakes up. Number three, ring-tailed lemurs have powerful scent glands that they can use to communicate or even use as a weapon. They use their unique odor to mark their territory and serve as a warning to any other lemurs in the area. In fact, during mating season, male lemurs battle for pack dominance by trying to outstink each other, covering their long tails with smelly secretions and waving them in the air to determine which animal is more powerful. Look out! I've heard those ninja lemurs are silent, but dead. Number two, when lemurs travel together in packs on the ground, they keep their tails in the air for the other lemurs to see. This ensures everyone in the group is in sight and stays together, like a big game of follow the leader. And it's a perfect way to never get separated on a lemur family vacation. Number one, there are over 100 different species of lemur that all look totally different. And some of those species have some pretty insane sounding names, including the Western Fork Ground Lemur, the White Collar Lemur, and one that's just called the Aye Aye, which I can only assume is some kind of primate pirate. But of course, the ring-tailed lemur is the best-known type around. That's the type King Julie is. So obviously, they rule the jungle. And those are your five totally mind-bending facts about lemurs. Now subscribe to DreamWorks TV for even more awesome facts, and be sure to check out the brand new show, All Hail King Julian, only on Netflix this December 19th. African elephants are often killed for their ivory tusks. Don't purchase ivory products and discourage others from doing so also. Now, I am back to do the questions. So let's answer the question to get the star. Regulate its body Correct. temperature. Correct. You got the badge. Okay. Earn more stars to customize your badge. Okay, so let's return. Swap out your incandescent light bulbs for energy efficient <coughs> ones. This will reduce the amount of fossil fuels you depend on. Okay. Let's get two glass of fire. A local door. Answer the question to get the star. So giraffes use their long dark tongues to lick themselves clean. Giraffes use chemicals from their skin to stay clean.
giraffes bathe in watering holes drastically because family groups preen each other? B, I think. Correct. And it is B, all right. You got the badge. Okay, there's another. Earn more stars yeah. to customize your badge. Okay. Answer the question to get the star. So, what is the purpose of lever scent glands? Communication. Communication to com to compete to be leader of the pack to mark territory or all of the above to mark ooh, try again all of the above. Correct. Love you got the badge. All of the above. Earn more stars to customize your badge. Okay, now let's sit. Wangani Maantai said, The future of our planet concerns it. all of us, and all of us should do what we can to protect it. So, I don't know if that's all of it. If it is, I don't. I don't know. Let's check on for us quick. Yeah. Right, so Watch what the video to unlock the quiz. What is unique about the way anteaters eat? Right. So anteaters anteater tongues are covered in sticky saliva. Anteaters are unable to chew so they need to eat pebbles. Anteaters don't need to drink Water since they get hydration from ants. All of the buff. You got the badge. Earn more stars to customize your badge. Now, wait one second. Plant a tree. Not only are they beautiful, but they purify our air as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. And I'll see you all next time, bud. Bye.